daily date here. So past Thursday, the mayor of Boston has actually banned Chick-fil-A from opening up a new restaurant in the city. The reason behind it is because of Chick-fil-A's anti-gay sentiment. Uh, Chick-fil-A's president has yet again come out with a statement saying that they are against gay marriage. They support traditional marriage based on a biblical standpoint. The biblical standpoint of marriage is not necessarily defined as between one man and one woman. If anyone has actually read the Bible and looked into it itself, they will see that the Bible never actually says it is between one man and one woman. In fact, early Christian churches under the apostles themselves had gay marriage. Gay marriage wasn't banned from the Christian religion until Constantine had banned it from the Christian religion. So no one necessarily affiliated with Jesus himself was the one who was speaking out against it. It was a Roman emperor who decided to speak out against it. And speaking of Rome, there were several gay emperors throughout Roman history and even more who were bisexual. So that right there tells you that Rome itself typically did not have a problem with it. It was just that one particular emperor who decided to mess up a whole religion and um, put his personal influences upon it, and which were later then adopted by the Christian churches, especially under uh, Catholicism. That is where it really comes into effect. And so the biblical definition of marriage is not what they are trying to say it is. So Chick-fil-A being banned from Boston uh, under false pretenses of um, a guy's you trying to use religion as a reason and not actually knowing what the religion in itself says, at least um, the holy document. They don't know what the holy document says on the topic. So I applaud uh, Boston's uh, mayor for doing that. Whether or not I'm uncertain the legality of him doing it, but he do is vowing to do everything he can to stop another one from being opened in his city, which um, does give a statement out to Chick-fil-A saying that we will not tolerate this bigoted behavior anymore in uh, your company. And any large corporation or any large company needs to realize that times have changed. People realize that it's okay to be gay. It is nothing wrong with it, so everyone needs to stop having such issues with it. And in all honesty, it doesn't make sense. Why do you care what someone else do, uh, does with their lives? That makes no sense why um, someone else has the right to dictate that you're not allowed to love some other person because of whatever feature. Um, that was something that was done in the past um, between, it was done between um, people of nobility and um, people they ruled over. It was done um, between then people of different races. It was done between um, just so many different pieces, uh, people, different uh, countries, different races, different everything. And I mean, that's ridiculous. Now it's okay to uh, marry people out of other races. I know there's still stigma against it, unfortunately, but at least there's no laws in this country anymore prohibiting it. And times thankfully are changing, allowing for more acceptance with that. But now the laws need to change to allow all people who love each other to actually be together. If two people of the same sex love each other, why should anyone step in and say no? And that's what Chick-fil-A has been trying to do. That's what their message has been. They've been donating millions and millions of dollars to organizations that fight against gay marriage. In 2010 alone, they donated $2 million to anti-gay organizations. And we have got to draw the line. So please, um, boycott Chick-fil-A. Don't go there. Don't give them any more of your hard-earned money to just fun, horrible things such as fighting gay marriage. And also some of the organizations they've been donating money to are in other countries trying to legalize killing gay people just for being gay. I mean, where are we going to draw the line? The line is now being drawn. Don't go to Chick-fil-A. Don't support their hate and bigotry. If they decide to change their policies, they decide to change their um, belief systems, then fine. Go back and support them again 
and encourage them to change for the positive and to stop their message of hate. But until they do change their message and until they do change their uh, corporate beliefs, I say boycott them. I have been that for quite some time and I plan to continue to do so. So from Augusta, Georgia, this is Daily Dave saying have a great night.